finished up the front nine, which is the course's back nine, but the tournament's front nine at eight over. So now we've got um, nine strokes to play with. We're just gonna try to bogey every hole and get out of here. It's a picturesque series of holes here with Francis Biondi, coach, caddy, creator, chef. What is another C word that you are? <laughs> uh, calm. Calm, yeah. Because I think that's the word for today. I did not like those guys standing there. I like watching the ball just kind of take off, you know? It's like uh, when you go bowling and they've got the bumpers, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like boom. It's a feeling you don't know unless you pick up that golf club. You know? Yeah. Well, I am feeling much more calm on this nine. 98. I got it. Yeah. On the number? Yeah, on the number. Terry, you saw that. I'm just gonna full 54 at it. And uh, Bob's your uncle. And literally he is. Good night to start off the back nine. Hey, you know what? We've made putts longer than this too. Yeah, that's for sure. I think this is a pretty straight putt too. I'd much rather be long and right than short and online. Yeah, for sure. Eight more of those, we're in the clubhouse. The thing about life is to take your bogeys with a sense of maturity, you know? Don't pout for about a bogey. All you're doing is you're showing up to the next tee, which could be a birdie, with a pouty face, and no one likes the powder. You know, the birdie that we had on that front nine, yeah. or our front nine, like you walked into that with so much like calm energy. Yeah. And you were very happy going into that. I agree, yeah. And that was probably the hardest part of three on that nine. I did, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> you, did, you walked into it saying, I already know, it's a, it's a five iron, Yeah. center of the green. And I was like, yeah, we can make that part. Boom. All right, folks, this video is brought to you by Athletic Greens, the makers of AG1. It is the simplest way to get you the nutrition you need every day for mental health, gut health, balance, and basically, the thing I really like about it is that it clears away all the clutter in your cabinet from all your nutritional supplements. Honestly, I love the way it tastes as well. I could slam this easily. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal health, both physically and emotionally for every round. Do you know when you go get a smoothie and you're like, I feel better about myself, I feel like a better person? Every day, when I do it, I feel that way. So go to athleticgreens.com slash RGC to get your one year supply of D3K2 and five travel packs when you sign up today. Oh wow, here we are on, this is the course that I've seen on TV. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is why the pros come out to play here. Yeah. Sorry, you didn't see that. Not an easy shot. Like, six iron with like just 80 yards of water in front of you, you yeah. know? Like, it's a little easier with a pitching wedge. Like, look where the eyes take you here, right? Like, to yeah. the waterfall, to the yeah. water, to the rocks. Like, it's not. He's I really hates golf. <laughs> that 70 yard shot, covering at 60. About a foot Man. pass, that would have been so nice. Good try though. That felt good though. Yeah. Thanks. 
you've made putts longer than that. True. <laughs> like, so random. So I love random. that it was like spanning time. Thanks. Yeah, of course. All right, let's do the deed. Eric, you're right eye dominant? Yeah. How about you try this? Throw two fingers up next to each other like this and cover half the hole on the right half and then aim out to the far right side of that second finger. So like right where that, the line of that second finger is. So where are you seeing it? Yeah, it's about two feet out. A little further than that. Okay. Yeah. I like, I like that. Okay. if we just make all fives on the back we're good <laughs> right yeah doubles uh, doubles it's, it's very true it's very true he's like i don't want to go there i'm like i ain't want to go there two holes done this episode's cruising along elliot how you doing when are you gonna come visit dude when are you gonna come visit man i miss you and we've never met in person folks so special rule number 229 when there is a man-made object like hospitality at a PGA Tour event in between you and the hole you can pick it up and walk to no closer to the hole where you can see it which would be here but since that's a car path we're gonna just keep going and we'll be right here. cool Bob's your uncle it's 211 to the pin. What what kind of club do you like from here? From here? I yeah. mean, given the rough lie, like, why don't we just hit a six iron? A little downwind and just like, I can turn a six iron over. I'll start it on the bottom of that massive bridge. Let's go. Get up, get up, get up. Babe, that was on a dime. Sometimes when I get excited, I call dudes babe. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> What was the inspiration behind these the style headquarters? So that, thank you for asking. We were in Japan working for the USGA. In this hotel in Tokyo, there was all of these vintage Japanese like books and magazines and things okay. about golf. Yeah. And there was one that I really wanted to see. Okay. I looked at it, they gave me gloves. I put it on and then I saw that logo and it was Matsuhita okay. Japan Golf Clubs. And so I just took a photo of it and my friend Andrew Haynes from New York, who um, big branding guy, a lot of style. He's actually involved in the fair game golf with uh, Adam Scott okay. and yeah. Ben Clymer from Hodinkee. And he was like, that's a logo. And I was like, oh, cool. And then we just wrote Random Golf Club and it was just like, boing. That's awesome. So it's actually, that's cool. it's actually just inspired just from, you know, Travels. the world of yeah. golf around the world, you know? Messy par five. Boom! There we go. Great cut, dude. All over God's green earth on that one. So we made a par. Driver, six iron, five wood, putter, putter. That feels like the gods were just like, here you go, it's <laughs> been hard. You can. It's a gift. You can have that. What's the famous story on this hole? So it's a drivable par four. Right? And you know, the fans out here, they always want to see everybody go for it, but you could like look at that pin position. It's a it's a par three for a driver. A lot of tournaments have been won and lost on this whole uh, for sure. But everyone's going for it. Yeah. Everyone's going for it. Am I going for it? I don't know, what do you feel? I'm not sure about that. We haven't really <laughs> talked about this. Let's stand back there. Let's get a feel for what we see. out to the tunnel out there, just right in the pit. So red edge of the green, 255, 260. I can cover that. I like that, yeah. Whatever, all day. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're doing it. All day. We're doing it.
How about an eagle? Match play wise, I'm taking this hole with an eagle. For sure. Let's go. I see it going uphill and just kind of falling back down to the hole. Okay. All right, so the last couple of revolutions, you want to see that thing kind of trickle in the side. Okay. That's the idea there. Oh, you don't, you don't do that. De-greened it. I can hit it from 300 yards. I can lose it from 40 feet. That's humility right there for you folks. You're talking about eagle? Golf's talking about bogey. I'm, I'm looking at the hospitality on the right of the green. I love that. Yeah. I'm just gonna let it, that gonna line. Let it spray right. Exactly. No. No. I was like two feet from being <laughs> <nice>. okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is my current problem with the driver. Is mm. I'm just like, it's like, have you ever been to the Middle East? Have you tried driving around the Middle East? It's just symbols. There's no words. Okay. Really. It's a different language. I'm a visitor in this place. I got you. <laughs> I don't know the language. <laughs> the dimples on that ball are kind of like... How often do you change balls? How often? Yeah. Um, in a tournament, it was like every three holes. Really? Like, yeah. Why? Yeah, because the, the cover can get damaged. Really? Um, if it gets a little bit scuffed, then, I mean, if you're playing for a lot of money, you're playing for, you know, a tour status, you want to give yourself the best option, so. Yeah. Really want to tell you how hard it is to play out of this stuff. Do you interested? Do you want to know how hard that is? Ooh. That was, thick. That was thick. yeah, I mean, it's hard, you know, like, just doing the best I can. I was just thinking walking this fairway, I was like, it's not like I'm gonna blow up, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just gonna like start making doubles and triples. Folks, we're out here. This is how we're away from the water, right? For the rest of the day? Okay, good. Um, you know? Easy peasy. I mean, downwind, pitching wedge, dude. I love it. Guys, we're out here at Austin Country Club. First time. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing the best we can. Ooh. You know? We got a ball on the short green stuff, and all of a sudden, you know? I'm a quarter of an inch taller. <laughs> you know? It just is like that. It's like so subtle how hard it is to hit it when it's an inch below your feet. It's like, you know? Over time, when you practice it, it makes it easier. But I mean, you're right, There's, it, it's tough. It yeah. Tough. This course is I mean, I'm not asking for lives. sympathy. I'm just yeah. saying, <laughs> this is a hard game. <laughs> <laughs> that was really why I was compelled and interested to start an idea like this. Because when you watch the professionals on TV, you have no idea how hard it is. You know what I mean? Like, I could only imagine what it would be like to play basketball against like five amazing <laughs> ball players who can jump, block, anticipate your moves. Like, you would probably not even score a point. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, sure. so um, Francis said to me earlier, he really wants me to chip in today. Two chips. <laughs> So I've got two shots over the next three holes. Two shots over the next three holes. Okay. Anything's possible, folks. Ah! I feel like there are so many episodes where I was like, 
video over, or you need three birdies. Or then one birdie and an eagle. I've got one shot to shoot 89. One bogey to rule them all. Dang. And you get a drop. So pretty much we played this hole perfectly with the hospitality stands. Because you do get relief, that's for damn sure. There she is, Vice 17B, random golf club. Right in between two trailers. No problem. We've got a par five here. Um, five. What do you think? Uh, 320, we want something to give us a shot in, right? Yeah, um, I mean, I could hit Five wood. I don't know if it hits that branch though. Can you hit something under the branch? Under the branch, three iron. Yeah, okay. I can try. I, I don't know how far that gets us. Um, three iron, I mean, if we can get anywhere past 200, that's really nice. Yeah. Um, but even I if just it doesn't don't, go. I, don't, I almost want to hit a five iron and go over. Only thing is this tree branch and the, the, the Okay, the way so you really want to keep it under. I, okay, I, I would just, like to first. Let's just scrape a three and get it under there. Let's go. Because that will chase out. Yeah. Maybe the name of the show should just be What Would Francis Do? <laughs> Francis would shoot 71 at worst. <laughs> what would you shoot out here from these tees? I mean, you know, today wasn't playing too easy, right? So This is him being a gentleman. Now tell me what you'd shoot. I feel like I could I feel like I can break par. I feel like I can break par. I wanna see that show. <laughs> Alright, we're coming back. Let's see. Kept it low. It's chasing. It's running out. I love it. No, don't do that. Come on, back. come back, come back. All right, we're, we got the gully. We're back in. We're All playing. Right, we're good. How about that shot, Trey, sir? <laughs> Those low shots. <laughs> Stinger. Come on. We can do this. Just, can I just shit out a bogey? <laughs> can I just, have you ever had hemorrhoids? Is this a sponsor? Yeah. <laughs> sponsor message? Preparation, Preparation H. H wants to come in and sponsor me. Are I you can prepared? do some more suppository. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Amazing. They got steroids in them, you know? Okay. Yeah, right you on. take steroids right up the asshole. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Is that how you pump that drive out there? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you went for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> Anybody got a towel? That's good. All right, dude. All right. Ball below my feet, but whatever. We're doing this. Yeah, we're doing this. So let's club up and let's just keep it easy. Let's just keep it chill. I'm yep. just thinking like, like just punch a, one up there. Yeah, just like a half swing seven yeah, iron. Yeah, seven cool. Done. Is that one of the best shots of the day today? Get roll up. the frick out. Roll out. Oh. Roll. Oh. Really sure. Where it gets hard. All right. Ouch. Well, that changes things. I need a birdie and a par. Birdie and a par. Francis, I'm sure, is wanting to advise against this type of play. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's not you don't you don't come out here for score, folks. Again, this is the end of every breaking series. There's nothing for you on that piece of paper. I like this one. One thirty-nine. Oh wow! Ace cam's live. Let's get a one.
We're dancing. We're dancing. We're that dancing. We're dancing. Let's do it. Feeling good. We can make this putt. That felt good. All right, well, we've been here before. I have to make a birdie on the last hole to shoot 89. Is that what's happening? Uh, narratively speaking, we're in position A. Five wood, right at the chimney. Here we go. Santa, I know it's only February, but all I want is a birdie. Come on. Not the sweetest shot ever, but it's in the grass. If birdies happen from the fairway, then we're in the right spot. I think we're one step closer to that birdie for sure. I just think I could, I don't, I can't just like make a birdie happen. I am, the birdies happen and I'm like, that was great. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, I can't just show up and be like, I need to make a birdie. No, no, you can't. You can't. You have to let it happen. Yeah. Right? Like, you have to be in the right mindset. Yeah. Dude, we could hole out. We could definitely It's hold been out. a minute since I've holed out, dude. When's the last time you hold out? Like four years ago. Shit. Yeah, shit. I'm okay. due. Oh, man. Coming down to the wire here, folks. Dell match a. play. Position A, 18th hole, mm. Austin Country Club. Are we going to make a birdie? Can we get up and down from the fairway? to shoot 89. Honestly, I'm awake. He took that aim, and he went for it. We're about 10 feet right of the pin, pin high. Can we get a golf clap for we that? We could make that a was putt. so sick. Great shot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. All right, all right, all right. That's all right. a good shot. I love that. Good, good shot. shot. Yeah. Oh, good. oh, that's the pitch mark? That's the pitch mark. Jeez. We are reading this thing like it's a first edition Gideon's <laughs> Bible, dude. <laughs> Says left edge. It's uphill 110, 120. Not having it. Andy on the nose. Oh, crap. Francis, a pleasure, awesome. dude. That was so much fun. Dude. That was fun, man. Thanks for inviting me on this. Thank you for coming out. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Ooh. Until next time. So how'd you feel over that last putt? I felt pretty confident. Yeah. Yeah, I felt pretty confident. I felt happy. Yeah. I you mean, know? what were you thinking when you backed off? Uh, there were cars driving by. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you iced yourself there? Whoa. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> well, I think I just, I, I think I didn't have the right line on the ball. I was struggling uh, to get okay. the right line on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because on one side, it looked like a ball out. On the other side, it looked like the middle of the cup. And so, um, you know, I probably could have done a better job of picking the right line. Yeah. I feel like it takes a big man to walk away from, from the putt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ice yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> takes a big man to ice himself. What hole do you remember the most? Where are you going to walk away thinking about Oh, the par three. The par three. three. Yeah, the yeah. five iron, 30 footer. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh, you read that like a monster! Oh. Hell yeah. Wow. That was dope. How about a two?